Hello ladies, it's time for a thrift score. Today we're gonna talk about this uh, point and shoot Rico camera that I got for five dollars. Even comes with a case that's oh is that a is that a belt loop? Hold on. There we go. You can't just put a camera on a belt loop and not have it draw your inner cowboy. Walk into the saloon and be like, uh, see a lot of moments happening in here. I'd hate to make some decisive. I don't actually like hats, so this is gonna go away for the rest of the video. So let's talk about the camera though. Uh, I don't even know how to say, how do you pronounce this? Rico, Rica, Rico, Rike, I don't know. I'm gonna call it Rico. So this is the Rico RZ9000 point and shoot camera. And if you recall my previous video with the Minolta Freedom AF, I declared four tiers of cameras I look for and I thrift. This camera, I put in a tier three because it's not a complete plastic pile of junk. For your mom, it's gonna keep a memory just fine, but it doesn't have the features that the top tier cameras get that modern photographers look at. And also, since it is in that tier, I don't really care to shoot it, which is cool because the camera is missing a battery, and the battery is a special battery for this camera that costs, what, 15 bucks? I don't care to use the camera. I just want this delicious pearl of film that is loaded inside the camera because that's why I'm here to find other people's memories. So without a battery in the camera I can't just hit the button. I can't turn it on to see if it's like says the frames that have been shot. I can't hit the rewind button to suck all the film back in. So what I'm gonna have to do open the camera in the dark and then either one of two things are gonna happen. Either the film is already gonna be rewound into the film canister in which case I just pop it out and loaded up for development, or the film is out and all wrapped around the, the, uh, the take-up reel on the other side, in which case I'm going to have to snip it and then slowly unwind it in the dark until I can get all the film out and then immediately put it onto the development tank reel. So let's get my hands into the dark and see which path I have to take. You think you're a photographer? Huh? You think that's your dark bag? Huh? It's not. You're in my seat. You are in my seat. Okay, into the changing bag we have one Jobo processing drum with two reels for two rolls of 35mm film. An additional roll of 35mm film for my backlog that I'm going to process at the same time to get that out of the way. One bottle opener for the good film and this film if it's rewound. And scissors, which are needed for any circumstance because you have to cut the film off of the reel. And of course, the Rico RZ900. I said 9000 before, did you catch that? Flub! Okay. I'm gonna zip this up stick my arms in it, we're gonna see what I gotta do to get this film out of the camera. One arm in, two arms in, okay. Got the camera in my hands, try to imagine this. It's a moment of truth. Guess what? The film is out, so I get to snip it and spend the next how many minutes cutting. Let me. I'm gonna pull and see if I can get an estimate of how much film has actually been exposed. It's uh, a lot of film that came out of the canister, so it might not be very many photos taken. We'll find out. Okay, scissors. 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 Oh, that's the bottle opener. That's the bottle opener again. Scissors. The film has been disconnected from the canister, now to unravel it. Maybe I'm lucky I can just pull it in. Oh, it just came off. That came off really easy, so I'm guessing there was probably no photos taken. But that's for us to find out when I develop this film. I 
I don't think that I need to sit here and chew up 20 gigs of data storage while I fumble with this film, so I'm gonna seal it up real quick and shut off the camera. But oh, oh. quickly, where the where the can go? There it is. Let's see what kind of film we even got. Good old some old Kodak Royal Gold. Be back with the results. Moment of truth. Uh, this is the uh, other role I developed. I'm glad it has pictures on it as well. Let's hang these up and look at the proper roll. Actual moment of truth. Completely black. Oh, what happened? Absolutely nothing. That's impressive. Like, how did the entire roll get exposed? On the plus side, I don't have to post-process any photos to finish this video. Yeah! So it's the next day and I let the negatives dry after dropping them on the ground a few times, getting them kind of dirty. And looking at it again, you can tell that it is blank. You can see through it a little bit. Scroll over enough here, we can get to the point where the you can see it gets darker. That's where the leader would have been on the film. So what we have here isn't a case of film that was somehow exposed, but rather a case of deeply expired film that had fog and turned black over years of being unrefrigerated. This is kind of why I don't like using expired film, because you never know if it's going to be a train wreck or not, so... But I believe that's the answer to this question. So there we go, another thrift score with a camera I'm not going to use and film that's... No fun at all. Get out of here. Till next time.